Ole Miss looking for its third straight SEC series win. Well, they can accomplish that if they can take down the Auburn Tigers here in Oxford, Mississippi. You look into it, Savannah Diedrich is going to try to continue the good work of Anna Borgen last night. Did not allow a run in eight innings, a one nothing walk-off win for the Rebels. Since there. Throw down to second and plenty of time to get King. The reigning ACC Newcomer of the Week in the circle, Maddie Penta, the freshman, has just been unreal. Maybe also not, knowing that she has a chance to win a national championship. As that one's belted to left and taken in by King. To swing it though, fall off the ones you don't like. And so Diedrich blows it right by Tischer. Sometimes you might need to knock a little bit off to make it spin better. Lined up the middle, dunks in front of Packer. Gutierrez to third. To an inning. Runner goes, here's the throw down. Not in time, and Ole Miss takes the lead. Ole Miss has done a good job themselves. Madison Kepke belts it down the right field line, and it dunks in for a base hit. Auburn has the leadoff man on. Five games before it snapped last night. This should be deep enough out to left field. Puck hauls it in, the throw home, not in time. Just one run for Auburn. That could be a whole lot more in their psyche. And punched out to Puck, leaps to make the play. James Madison, but he thought it was too close to home. That one is belted, way deep in left, and no doubt about it, Ole Miss has the lead. Gillespie sends it over the wall. And you could tell by the crack of the bat. All right, Auburn has a new arm in the circle, and for the first time we get to see KK Dismukes. So the night done for the moment for Maddie Penta. High fly, deep right field, Rivera back, and she makes the play. Just not enough for Paige Smith. She gave it a ride but still a 2-1 lead for Ole Miss. It was just that player was cerebral. Now it's everybody. Whatever Diedrich's doing, it's working though. If she's thinking about her pitches or not, seven strikeouts on the game for the Ole Miss righty. On here for Ole Miss. Little excuse me check swing, it's fair. And it gets right over the bag for Kepke. And that is going to be a runner on second as Puck slides in. Well, at least see a catcher, excuse me, a coach come out to talk to a third baseman. And this is through Alley and gets into center. Puck will come around and score. And Ole Miss adds on to the lead. At the dish, another one of those. Runner goes, throw down. Got her. Gillespie catches her second of the game. Momentum did that give Ole Miss. Slow chopper over to Kepke. She boots it, throws wide of first. Ole Miss has another one. Second and third for the Rebels with a run in, and the lead is three. A lot about hitting and really sends that to her team. And there's more insurance. One run comes in to score, how about two? Ole Miss has blown it open. And that ball got away. Gutierrez to second base. The Tigers and the senior lefty from Ohio, Lexi Handley, will try to get the final out here for Mickey Dean. So saying that her team has not, there's no team that's worked harder than her team and you're seeing it here come through big in this win because They've put the time, they've put the effort, and they never gave up, and they just showed a lot of fight. Whitley puts it away, and Ole Miss has clinched its first home series win over Auburn in program history. Their first series win against the Tigers since 2007, and just a really historic weekend so far here for the Rebels, and they will go for the sweep tomorrow. Jenny, this, this is a team that is really playing well towards the end of the year. Three straight SEC series wins as well now for the Rebs.